Greetings. Welcome to Restoration Center's Women of Worth and Accessory Prayer with Co-Pastor Simone Keys. Join us every Saturday night at 9 p.m. As Isaiah 61 and 3 says, Give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Now here's Co-Pastor Keys with tonight's word. tonight. Hey, hello everyone. Want to welcome you to our Wild Prayer Talks, Restoration Center International Ministries in Bossier City. And just want to say a shout out to my husband, our apostle Thomas Eugene Keys um, Jr. And as I said, people always say, always say your name because you know, you never know. I'm Simone Nicole Harris Keys. I am um, co-pastor. My husband, as I said, is our apostle. Um, Restoration Center International Ministries Bossier and just want to give a shout out to our executive pastor Pastor Colleen Johnson you just heard me talk to Pastor Najira Kamara Broken I'm sorry Restoring Broken Lives Outreach in Shreveport Louisiana want to say hello to Pastor Trina Garner how you doing in League City Texas how you feeling tonight Pastor want to say hello to Pastor Veronda Lindsay in the 504 Restoration Center, New Orleans. Want to give a shout out to how you doing, how you doing up there in Dallas to Prophet Derek Rogers. Want to also say hello to Pastor Tamika Millsap. And I just saw Prophetess Pamela Wright on. And hello to Pastor Colette Harris. I think I got everybody. Did I say it? Said New Orleans, said Shreveport, said Bossier. League City, Texas. But guess what? Pastor Colette, forgive me. Pastor Colette Harris Morris, I'm sorry. Yes, 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 that's Pastor Colette. Glad you are on tonight. Well, guess what? Um, women of God and men of God who may be on the line with us. Um, tonight we're going to talk about grace. I have been, as I said, I love going on. Wait a minute, y'all. How you doing, Elder Moss? Love going on Saturday nights. We have prayer time for 6 o'clock, and we used to have it in New Orleans also. And just walking in the very presence of God. And, you know, I went by the baptism, baptismal pool. We have a baptism tomorrow morning, praise God. And I just saw the, world, the water stirring up. I was like, okay, God, we're going to talk tonight about, listen, we got to get in the water while it's stirring. And I kept praying, and as I was walking, just we had on Bishop Martin. Bishop Martin was singing, and we had on pray, pray for me. Um, what he do? He Smith, and just kept hearing grace. And then my son Thomas is now in Florida. He sang Amazing Grace tonight because he talked about has talked about how we as a people have come so far through grace by grace. And my God, what, where, where would we be or what would we do if we didn't have God's grace? When we hear people say, when we said ourselves that, you know, we didn't know if we could make it, but God. We didn't know if we could get there, but God. When we were saying, but God, we're talking about because of the grace of God, that's why we have been able to make it thus far. Even those of us who have suffered so many who've lost so many in our lives who may be grieving right now. It is only by God's grace that you are talking, that you're still living, that you're doing stuff right now is by his grace. And grace is God's unmerited gift. We can't earn it. But I praise God through Jesus Christ that he died on Calvary's cross and rose again just for you and me, Samantha, Elder Dill, all of you on this phone that he did it just for me, for us, and by his grace through faith. That's why we'll be, we are able to make it. And there are times we get into some dark places. I'm going to tell you, call on God's grace. Say, God, I need your healing. It's only by your grace that I am saved through Christ Jesus. Call on his grace. I just saw my cousin Jesse Spriggins come on and we are praying for Mary. We are praying for my cousin Mary. Um, that's 
Jesse's wife, we call him Dude. We are praying and lifting up Mary right now and so many others who may not be feeling well, who are sick. We proclaim healing in their lives. We can we are proclaiming healing in your lives as we call upon God's grace. Jesus. Jesus, 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 praying as so we want to ask you tonight that as we pray, and I've had I have some prayer requests tonight, let's start praying and thanking God for his grace. Acts 15 and 11, but we believe that we will be saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, just as they will. Romans 3 and 24, yet God in his grace freely makes us right in his sight. He did this thing through Jesus Christ when he freed us from the penalty for our sins. Romans, oh my God, Romans 5 and 15. But the gift is not like the trespasses. For if the many die by the trespass of one man, how much more did God's grace and the gift that came by the grace of one man, Jesus Christ, overflow to many? Let's talk about God's grace. Jesus. Ephesians 18, I'm sorry, Ephesians 1, 6 through 7, to the praise of the glory of his grace, said somebody, by which he made us accepted in the beloved. In him we have redemption, Jesus, through his blood, the forgiveness of his sins, according to the riches of his grace. Titus 2 and 11, for the grace of God has been revealed, Bringing salvation to all people. Let's talk about God's grace, y'all. How can we even get through without his saving grace? Ephesians 2 and 5, that even though we were dead because of our sins, he gave us life when he raised Christ from the dead. It is only, amplified version, y'all, it's only by God's grace that you have been saved. Yes, the grace of God. So tonight, when we think about how we as a people, how we've come through many dangers, toils, and snares, my God, that it was God's grace who saved us, that we were lost, we were blind, but now we see it's because of God's grace. Hallelujah. And tonight, as we go into prayer, and as I said, my cousin Jesse, so I want to pray for my cousin Mary tonight. My cousin Phyllis Cyprion, she's been sending our prayers for her son, Matthew Cyprion. We are praying tonight. If you want to put some names on the screen right now, we are praying. We are praying and thanking God for his grace tonight. Hallelujah. Want to pray and lift up the Thompson family. I said that last week um, at the death of my cousin Lily. We're praying for just grieving the family, just grieving and praying because they also lost on their niece, Kiara, my cousin. We're praying for God's grace. We're lifting up Alfred Bell tonight. Pastor Candy Brown put in the name. We're praying for God's grace. Samantha, we're praying right now for your headaches. We're praying for God's grace. Hallelujah. We're praying for God's grace. We're praying for Glenda Hall tonight. Yes, God. Hallelujah. That God will just touch her and hold her in his arms. Listen, it's only by the grace of God that we are here right now. Hallelujah. Acts 20 and 24, let us leave with this. But I do not account my life of any value, nor as precious to myself. If only I may finish my course and the ministry that I received from the Lord Jesus to testify to the gospel of the grace of God. Hallelujah. God, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your grace. And that was our word tonight. Listen, call on the grace of God. Jesus It's only by his grace and mercy that we've made it through. And tonight, I, this song has been on my mind. As I said, Thomas was singing Amazing Grace. And it's just the chorus of My Chains Are Gone. But I love it so much because it just speaks to me. My chains are gone. I've been set free. 
my God, my Savior has ransomed me. And like a flood, His mercy reigns. Unending love, amazing grace. My chains are gone. I've been set free. My God, my Savior has ransomed me. And like a flood, His mercy reigns. Unending love, amazing grace. Right now, God, we thank you for your grace, Father. We bless your name, God. We worship you, God. We honor you, God. And we thank you, God, that when we were lost in a state, God, hallelujah, hallelujah, that you found us, God. You picked us up, Father, in the midst, God, in the midst. And we praise you and we thank you, God. We thank you, God, for your grace, dear God, for your covering, covering of your son, God, your darling son. We thank you for covering us in the blood of Jesus, God. And we thank you, God, for your salvific, for your power, God. In the name of Jesus, your salvific power, salvation through you. And right now, dear God, we call out and we intercede for those names, dear God, that we called out before God in the name of Jesus. And we pray, to God, that you, your mercy would just reign upon our prayer request tonight, God, in the name of Jesus. We give them to you, God, and we pray healing, Father, in the name of Jesus. We proclaim healing right now, dear God. And we thank you for freedom, freedom in you, God, through your blood, your darling son, Jesus. Right now, God, I praise you to God. And I thank you, God, for allowing us to be set free. I thank you, God, for your unending love, God. Your unending love. <sighs> the like God, we've had relationships that have ended. Hallelujah. Jobs that have ended. God, we know, Father, that there are people that we've lost Loved ones, God. Hallelujah. But your love is unending. So tonight, we thank you for your unending love, God. And we thank you and we praise you for your amazing, amazing grace. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And tonight, if there's somebody that's watching, and you said, I want that freedom that you all are praising God for and talking about tonight. Call upon the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, I'm right here. I admit that I'm a sinner. My God, and I'm placing myself in your arms, God. To God, right now, I believe that you died, that you rose again. From the dead and you coming back for me. A church without spot or wrinkle. And right now, dear God, hallelujah. Father, I confess all my sins because I know, God, that I will be saved and that you will forgive me for whatever I've done. Because of your unending love and your amazing grace. And commit yourself to Christ right now. Hallelujah. Is it going to be easy? Mm -mm. But God is right there to pick you up just as he's picked us up when we have fallen. They got a lot of folk tonight on the line, right now on the phone line, right now, listen, on Facebook as we're praying tonight that have fallen. But we serve a Savior. Hallelujah. That we can say, Lord, I'm falling and I can't get up. And he'll be right there to pick you up. So tonight, we proclaim freedom. We proclaim freedom in Jesus' name. And thank God for his amazing grace. I love you all so much. Thank you for sharing with me tonight. Praise God for his amazing grace. Good night, everyone.